So what are we doing today? So uh, obviously we can't get the products on hand, but I found a way to do it with the internet. The internet saves us. I'll leave you guys awaiting in the chamber, and uh, when it's your turn, get ready to unwrap. Oh, okay. Wait. A few moments later. Oh, hello, hello. Here we are at the table. Today is a special episode, as you heard earlier. I prepared a little list here for you. You're going to look at each thing. Let me know if you buy it or not. Add it to your cart if you do want to buy it. Oh, so we have more than one, one thing. That's right. <laughs> it looks actually pretty cool. All right. So we have the clocky alarm clock on wheels. Original. <laughs> okay, so here's the picture of it. All I can see is an alarm clock with uh, two buttons. Are they buttons? It has wheels, actually. Yo, what is this thing? It looks like a car. When I zoom in, it actually looks like the right eye is like a bell, and then the left eye is like the Google Chrome icon. So it's an extra allowance for heavy sleeper. Oh my god, I'm such not a heavy sleeper. Wait, there's a video. Okay, this girl has like four alarms. What the heck? The guy is like rolling. Dude, it's like a... It's like an R2-D2 in Star Wars, you know? So, if you have a problem in the morning, your alarm will fly away. What the f***? <laughs> what the f*** is that? The guy's... The little ball is rolling around and, and the guy's just leaving. I, I feel like I would break it in like one second. What, who has that problem? <laughs> oh! The two alarm clock people meet. Wait, is that like a romantic thing they just try to do here? Oh, what the f***? Now they're looking at each other and they found love. Guys, if you're looking for love, buy a clocky alarm clock on wheels. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> this thing looks like one of those toys you win at like an arcade machine. But dude, the ratings are actually not even that bad. Like, First of all, who has an alarm clock? Use your phone. And second of all, if you can't wake up and you need something that runs outside of your house for you to wake up, I think you have a bigger problem, to be honest. The clock doesn't roll and it took a while to ship from China. <laughs> uh, first guy goes money wasted. Second guy goes great clock that gets me out of bed in the morning. Really helpful. Finally, I can wake up and not through out of the... Wait, I'm so confused. What is that? Oh, he means he wouldn't get thrown out of the seventh floor by his boss because he's late. Look at this one from Miss Mary. She goes rip off for the knock off the clock. What? Rip off for the knockoff the clock. How could you charge $76 for a Chinese knockoff with no mention of clocky written on the directions? Obviously everything's in Chinese. What a rip off for the knockoff the TikTok clock. Yo, we found a TikTok clock. <laughs> Would you buy it or is that a pass? It does come in four colors though, that's pretty cool. Okay, no, 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 this one's gonna be a pass for me. Uh, I think uh, it's meant to be dropped. I mean, that's what it does in the morning when you when it wakes up, so... This is not worth 60 bones. It's a no-no for me. All right. Okay, and now we have... Uh, are you sure? It's a table. Yeah. Car desk steering wheel tray. Riding and eating on the go. What the heck? Well, we got the tray part right, but what is a car desk steering wheel? Don't drive in and table. Because if you table and drive, it's really not good. Do not use or mount while vehicle is in motion. Failure to follow this instruction may cause serious injury or death. This looks like Windows. It is Windows XP. Holy shit. And then this uh, other thing, she's on her notebook. And if I zoom, there is nothing written on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if people actually believe this is a good item. What's the average number of fatality? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Please tell me people are not driving and using this thing. Uh, roughly 40% of people use it safely. Another 30% suffered non-fatal accidents. Guys, dude, how, how come this has 350 votes? And I guess the other 30% people <laughs> themselves and other passengers. Oh, God, that's so <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Someone is asking, can it slice bananas too? Is it better than the Hutzler 571? Nothing is better than the Hutzler 571. What is a Hutzler 571? Oh, it's a banana slicer. Oh, this thing. I've seen those. Well, first of all, why are people comparing it to this? And second of all, why are there 6,000 reviews on a banana slicer? Are you actually not able to use a knife? So nothing is better than the Hutzler 571. Except for, of course, the Mountain 3 Wolf Moon Short Sleeve Tee. Oh, it's just a t-shirt with three wolves howling at the moon. 
Actually, it's three mountain wolves howling. <laughs> There's a customer to actually put a MacBook. Let's see how it fits. Oh, okay. Although, if someone were to utilize all three of these items at once, a tear in the time-space continuum would result in the destruction of our solar system. Would you buy it? Or is that a pass? Um, I'm sorry, but I'll give it a drop. $21? On sale. That is a steal. All right, so here we got gummy bears. Albanese confectionery sugar-free assorted. I was gonna read assaulted. Dude, wait, these are the gummy bears from the TikToks, right? Wait, let me see. Let me see. Never mind, fine. <laughs> what is this, Adele? Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> wait, am I actually just looking at like a bag of gummy bear? The gummy with the A on the tummy. Oh my God. <laughs> She's taking a picture with a, with a plant. But here you have gummy bears. Chilling by the pool, you got yourself gummy bear. This last guy's going on a date. But here you have gummy bears. Should I try them? By William Scott. It depends. Do you like painful and explosive diarrhea? If yes, then this is the snack for you. Oh my god, what is with the explosions today? It's all true. All of it. I ate six of these things to aid along in digestion. I figured it was a tastier way to rid myself of a week's worth of backup. I might as well have swallowed a nuclear bomb and topped it off with an enema. The good news is my digestive system is back on track. The bad news is I will never eat another gummy bear and may have flushed part of my soul down the toilet. All right, JP says, like distant thunder. It, it all started, started at 6 in the morning, the night before one of my hunting buddies had bought these without noticing that they were sugar-free. He's one of those guys always reading about the effects of food and dieting and stuff, and refused to eat them, claiming they would make you gain weight. So he gave them to me. I was out in the deer woods, far from any toilet or toilet. I would have ran my friend over on the way, or made sure my parents had never met, because after just five or so of these hell-bent demon-possessed spawn, <laughs> spawn of Satan, I knew I should have read the comments before taking these off my website. 2,468 people found this helpful. Did you find it helpful? Oh, yes. What? Are they like laxatives? Like the company is selling gummy bears. People are buying them and then they're shitting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy? I always said a pass. I will pass on the explosive diarrhea. Oh, that's definitely a cop, man. I would buy that. All right, we got some bacon strip bandages with a free prize inside, it says. Each chain contains 25 bandages. Each bandage measures approximately three inches by one inch. That's like a normal bandage size. So the second picture says 15 large sterile trip strips. The description says 25 bandages. So, so which one is it? How many strips am I getting here? So if you cut yourself, now you can have a bacon strip stick stuck to you. I don't know. I don't trust those. Why would I want bacon on my cuts? The power of meat will protect your meat. One guy here asks, do they taste like bacon? Office Girl says, try one and find out. No, do not try one and find out, Office Girl. Hillary L says, only once they have been used. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gross. Oh, that's <laughs> nasty. What kind of toy is inside? There was a temporary tattoo of Edgar Allan Poe in the box we just got. Dude, these are actually, they look pretty cool. We are a bacon loving family and these are great. I just wish they smelled like bacon. I'm gonna tell you this. No go for me, man. Absolute drop. Eight dollars. That's definitely a purchase. Add that to cart. Inventus Lunacycle. And what is that? It looks like a wheel with two pedals. Oh, it's a unicycle. But there's no seat. How does that work? I would never buy this, man. Are you crazy? Oh, okay. Here, that's it. Look, look at that. And she's doing it right on next to the water. Oh, but the, the wheel is so wobbly. Oh my god. First time rider. See, that's like you right now. The first time riders look like they're gonna die. Oh, 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 look at that. He's confident. No arms, no hands, no hand action. Did those guys look comfortable riding that? They look, they definitely look like, you know, it's your first time at the club and you gotta dance your way past the dance floor. But if you do fall from the lunacycle, you do have those bacon strip bandages. I'm glad you put those in your cart. So here we have a blowfish that says, don't buy one for your dog. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Why would you buy one for your dog? Is this an instrument of death or just a torture device? I watched a Russian circus once and saw bears on unicycles. So I decided to try the lunicycle with my dog. Everything goes was going well until he passed a fire hydrant and lifted his leg. Dog gone. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a tool will it look like on one of these things? A 7. 
Extra arm flailing results in a 10 out of 10, says Matt. Is it a buy or is it a pass? You know, I'm not into those, that kind of cycling anyway, so definitely not a cup for me. But either way, this loony cycle is just a little too loony for me. I'm, I'm gonna pass on it. Oh boy, this looks like a... Oh, it's a pen, okay. The permanent ink writes through water, grease, and mud. It's $33. It has 123 reviews. It looks like a bullet. Right in the... Oh, right in the rain. I get it. It's a waterproof pen, I guess. It's so weird how their like, the raindrops are just sitting on the notebook. Like, is the notebook waterproof too? The pad is like, looks so sad. It looks like it's crying. The random notebook in the middle of the forest. Actually, that's pretty sick. Oh, that's actually so cool though. Oh, you know those shower thoughts? Those genius shower thoughts that everybody has? That's exactly what it is. They're using write in the rain notebooks. So those notebooks are also waterproof. I wonder like if it can write through soggy paper. Like that would be cool. It has a pressurized cartridge that lets you write in temperature from minus 30 Fahrenheit to 250 Fahrenheit underwater up to 35 feet at any angle. Like, this is insane. That's pretty high ratings too. Like, let's read some of the ratings. Here. Excellent in all ex respects, except attach the bloody ring to the body of the pen, please, not the cap. Oh, they have a version here for $14. Would you buy it or would you pass? Honestly, I think it's a cop. Yeah, I would buy the 14 one, not the, not the... Yeah, this looks like a real thing. This looks pretty cool, Ricky. This is actually sweet. Hey, how about buying some toilet paper for 57 You want to buy? And here we have a briefcase called Victrola. But it looks like a turntable. Victrola. It looks so elegant. Oh my god. Do you need like old school records for that? You do. Look at the amount of colors it comes in. You got black, American flag, aqua. Vintage three-speed Bluetooth suitcase turntable with speakers. It can play different uh, vinyl records. Brown, camo, geoprint. Oh, the brown looks sick. It looks like a vintage um, leather suitcase. Oh, they have a video. Let me play the video. Dude, can you imagine bringing this to the airport? Like, yeah, this is my suitcase. <laughs> and then you, you pass it through the x-ray and it's like, what the f*** is in there? <laughs> oh, it's very small. Look at this guy holding it. It looks a lot bigger. It's not that big, actually. You can play vinyl or Bluetooth. That's so sick. 39, it's $39? Holy shit, this is a definite cop. Holy shit, they had... They have almost 9,000. The ratings are insane. 4.3 out of 5. You know, I'm digging the vibrant tie-dye color. Oh yeah, this is a cop. This is a quick add to cart for me. Oh, that's a cop. Actually, this is the, my favorite item from the whole list today. Yo. Yo, sanitizer. Yo. Hey. Do you remember your price, Jason? Yes. Who do you think spent more? I don't know. I feel like Roland wouldn't spend money. I think I spent more. Are you saying I'm cheap? <laughs> yes. Okay, then maybe you're right. How much did you spend? I spent 120 bucks. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I spent $83. Thank you guys both for tuning in. If you guys at home have any cool products you want us to see featured in the video, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Sweet. All right, see ya. Oh yeah, there's just one more uh, product. You guys want to buy some toilet paper? How much you're selling it for? $85 each. Yo